Officer Dan and hand model extraordinaire Johnny Caps coming at you with the SR and KA engine fan install video because who doesn't like 60% more airflow? Now what's in the box you might ask? A fan that may or may not be your biggest one. Simple enough. Let's show you how to install it properly, okay? Okay. First up, we're going to do this on a wait a minute. Okay, there we go. On an SR powered S13. Remove the stuff in the way, in this case an oil catch can. Now loosen up the coupling to water pump nuts, then loosen the top and bottom alternator nuts. Loosen the adjuster here on the side, then thread it out by hand. Now pull on the belt a bit to ensure there isn't any tension on the pulley. Now remove the coupling to water pump nuts, then move on to the radiator shroud bolts. Now pull out your fan slash shroud assembly as one unit. Get your fan on the bench and loosen and remove the fan to coupler bolt. Now move them aside, lift the old fan off, and put the GK Tech unit on. Please make sure the fan is fitted the correct way as shown here. Now install the fan coupling bolts. Now torque them down to the specs shown on the screen. You're going to want to do two passes of torquage doing opposite corners to ensure it's tightened evenly. Now take your fan and shroud and reinstall them as one unit. This may not need to happen depending on your setup, but we're showing it as an example. Once in place, install the coupling to water pump nuts, then tighten them down and torque to 6 to 10 newton meters or 4 to 7 foot pounds, doing two passes to make sure everything is tightened evenly. Tighten the alternator adjuster, checking the belt tension as you go. When measuring from one pulley to the other, you want to see 4 to 8 millimeters of movement with 10 kilos of force. Torque the top and bottom nuts to these specs. Check your belt tension once again as it may have moved when you tightened everything down. Now retorque the four bolts on the pulley, because it has tension now, and install and tighten the fan shroud bolts. Reinstall your catch can or other accessories you may have there and make sure that there is no contact with the fan or shroud or any other engine components. Sweet action. You now have 60% more airflow. Just like that. We'll see you next time with love from Johnny Caps and Officer Dan. You know you'd be a lot cooler if you gave us a follow on YouTube. Hashtag Pro Tips. Peace.